Okay, so I have removed this piece here. I'm going to set it aside in the uh, same direction as I'm going to put it back on. That way I will remember which directions it goes. All right, so at this point I should be able to take off this top rubber piece. And what, another thing you can see is that those two wires are going through that hole right there. So when I put this back together, those two wires will need to go through that hole. All right, we're gonna set that aside, again, in the direction in which we're gonna put it back on. And from this point, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the tabs off the back side now, now that I can set this down a little flatter. So I'm gonna take those tabs off and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I uh, figured I'd show you what I'm doing here. Uh, I did end up needing to get my tin snips, uh, my metal snips. So I pried up some of these with the screwdriver so that I could get in on it and uh, snip it. Just wanted to show you uh, the process here because it didn't quite work like I had anticipated. And as you can see, some of these are coming out, which is okay, um, but I've got to keep these in the same order when they come out so that we know how to put them back together. So, since I don't have, one thing I just noticed is I don't have tabs that are this long. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect the project. So let me uh, put these down and I'll be right back with you and see if uh, this is going to be able to even happen. Okay, so what I noticed here is that this is the only one that has a long tab and that's so that uh, we can get from one side to the other. All the other ones are short tabs. So what I'm going to do is I've got tabs on small tabs already on the batteries. So I'm going to just end up soldering that onto this long one. Um, but I do need this one long one. So I'm going to snip it because I, for whatever reason, I'm can't get these off uh, with the soldering iron. So I'm gonna snip that one. And I'm gonna keep this tab to put back on later on. So again, making sure that the batteries are in their same order. like such and I'm going to continue to um, <clears throat> snip the rest of these off and then I will show you I'm going to open these up and set them up in the correct order uh, and then I'll start soldering those so I'm going to take off the rest of these tabs as you can see, I have the uh, cover off. So we have all of our individual batteries here. And I've tried to line them up to where each one is sort of facing the one that it was cut from. That gives you an idea of which ones go to which. What I might suggest, which would be better, would be, uh, and I've realized this now that I've taken it apart, would be to make yourself a diagram prior to taking it apart. So this was my other battery uh, that I ended up taking uh, the case off of, so I could see. Um, but if you would go ahead and just make yourself a diagram that shows uh, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and then uh, arrows that connect those together, um, 
that way when you get you don't have to go back and do this per se with your old batteries you've just got a diagram that shows you which ones go to which um, but I, luckily I had this extra one so I could take it apart and uh, look at it but as you can see all of the uh, batteries are apart this was the tab of the one that I had taken off of the long tab and that will end up going on the bottom of this one and coming up to the top of this one to connect these two together. Uh, we'll get to that later. What I noticed was uh, a lot of dirt and grime and maybe even some little bit of battery acid in the, uh, in the plastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash these out really good, uh, dry them really well uh, so there's no water still in it and then I will start working on putting everything back together. All right, now uh, I have washed these. Just wanted to show you um, that all the white powdery substance, probably uh, battery acid, dust, particles, whatnot, is out. And also what I wanted to do at the same time was show you um, that these are specific. Uh, so these are not interchangeable. One is for the top and one is for the bottom. So on this one here, if you can see here, um, it has four, these four spots are all raised, as you can see there. And on the other one, um, the other one is just all flat. And so now I will start working on putting the new batteries together. All right, so uh, I took a look at this part real quick. I just mentioned to you about that has the two uh, longer pieces here and here. And I compared it to my other one that I have not disassembled yet. And this one is the top one. So I'm going to be taking this first and I'm going to be working with the batteries, uh, putting them up through the top first. And let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take a look at my first one here. And I see that I've got a positive on top. And the batteries that I have are pretty nice. They've got uh, negative and positive. Uh, some of them I've had to pull off uh, so I could get more of uh, the uh, tab shown. So uh, I've had to pull these as well in the process. So some of these you're going to see I've got the tabs on and or the, the stickers on and some not. But anyway, uh, so I want this one here first, which is this is a positive and I can tell that on my old battery because I can see uh, a, a, a top part that's uh, the positive side of the battery. So I'm gonna take that. And as you can see, this one here jumps across to this one here. So I'm going to take my tab and put it up through the top. And turn it to face the other one. And then the other one that I'm going to connect to, this, this is negative. So I'm going to take my negative and oops, one popped out uh, put this one up through I've got to stick the tab up through the top portion like so and I'm gonna line those tabs up together um, I'm gonna stop the video for just a second and I'll show you I'll have them lined up together and then I'll show you the soldering Okay, it's a little hard to see in the video. I'll try to bring these up. Um, so that's what I've done. I've got my negative, my positive, and now I'm going to uh, solder those together. So what I'll do, they're overlapping a little bit. I'll put some solder down on the bottom tab and put it over it, heat it back up, and uh, it should be soldered together. So let's, uh, let's give that a shot.
got my soldering iron. I've got my solder. So I'm gonna pull this tab back a little bit to expose the bottom tab. I'm gonna throw some solder down on there. And uh, then I'm gonna put this over the top like that. And I'm gonna heat this up so that the solder melts. Put just a little bit more solder on there just for good measure and there we go so let that cool for a second and as you can see, we are soldered together. Uh, it's all held together. So I'm gonna continue to do that for the remaining batteries. So when I am come back with you, I'm gonna have the tops done and show you all the tops. Okay, so as you can see, I have all of the solder joints done. Uh, and it is exactly as it is here. And of course you wanna double check that and make sure that you have all of your positive and negatives correctly because if you don't, you'll end up starting a fire and that's not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and work on the back side. And when I'm done with the back side, I'll show you uh, how to, I'm gonna put this back on and also what I noticed was the wire coming out of that unit that I had taken the solder off on this one here that what this is is this is a uh, temperature sensor so it tests one battery which would be the this battery here um, it just goes up against that battery so that if the battery starts to overheat the that's what tells the charger to shut off so um, Yep, so we'll uh, get back to that in just a minute So we have all of the tab soldered and I took the uh, temperature sensor and put it down inside as well uh, with the piece of tape up against the side of the battery so that uh, if it does start to overheat that will shut down the uh, charger so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and re-solder it back so it's going to be on this pin and this pin for these two and uh, let me do that and then I'll come right back so the wires are soldered now I'm going to solder this connection to this battery this connection to this battery and to test for continuity I will after I solder that I will check uh, for continuity between these two batteries to see if they're all linked in series. And there you go. I uh, got all the five screws back in and uh, it's ready to go.